Hey guys, we're going to talk about the idea of quarter of turning of dice. I'm going to try and explain it much more clearly than before. The idea of quarter turning the dice, if you're on V-sets, any kind of V-set, or any kind of Six, six, four, six, five. Is the same. Let us assume for the purpose of this example that you start with the three, two, three, six. Court to turn, explode to hard four. People will say it's a good result. It's not bad. But you have exposed yourself to an off-axis situation of five. If your dice next time, they go and explode, that's five to seven. The explosion may come from the left eye as well. Six, one, seven. So in order to protect yourself from the next row, because we are talking about consistency and consistent sort of behavior by your grip. What you would do is, in the case of an explosion, you court it to the dice like so. By doing that, you're placing the explosion sevens as far away as, po as possible. So, explode to the hard four, rotate, four, two, six, rotate, two, three, four, three to five, sorry. And also this rotation gives you box cars, six, four, six, three. Now if you're unlucky enough and you explode one of the dice and this die does a double pitch, it's a five to seven. However, from your previous results, from your rotations, this die, which was on axis, demonstrated a two. So, in the next throw, because you set them to a two, four, six, four, it will demonstrate a four, most likely, because those are the rotations that you have given the die before, and we always assume consistency. So, what happens in the case when you implode the die to a 1, 6, 7 or a non 7 result to 1, 3, 4 what do you do? so that's an implosion you quarter turn the dice here placing the implosion 7s at the bottom of the dice if I implode here it's a 5, 5 snake eyes if I go here, ace three four. If I go here, ace four five. And one six is here. So it's right at the bottom. So that's why I go to the five three one three. There is another scenario whereby you start with three two three six and you see consistently that you get 1, 3, 4, 3, 5, 8. These are good results. You can do something else. Rotate the dice set and change the direction of the dice. So implosions no longer are threatening if you go like so, like so, rotate, like so, like so, rotate, like so, like so. So they, they don't hurt you unless you go all the way to the bottom. Three, six, three, two. So you have to rotate to the bottom. Nothing happens actually. So it has to be here. right here you're worried about explosions 
3632 rotate explode 61 or 52 so in this case if you're gonna stay with this direction of the set what you would do is for an explosion you go towards the dice so the explosion gives you aces it gives you five five if you rotate them here five three three one if you rotate them here four one five four so again you have to go right to the bottom of the set rotate rotate explode to the six one explode to the five two In case one implosion, let's say you're on a 3 6, you rotate, get the hard 4. What you do with the implosion, we start from here, original set, and quarter turn away from you. Implosion is hard 4, it's 2 4 6. Two, three, five, and on this and on this uh, die, box cars, four, six, and three, six. So that's that's the idea. But more to the point, we are starting to see that we no longer need same color dice. Because what we are after on a 3v set is to see 1 3 or 1 4 in the result. If we see 1 3 or 1 4, there is no way this is going to give us a 7. It's either going to be a 4 6 or a 4 1. Putting it back together, and on this one, uh, if we stay on this one, is a five four nine or two four six. So the off axis results are not going to give us anything which would worry us. Same here three explode explode leave this alone five three two three. So there is no sevens if you have a three or a four in the result. And that is why the quarter turn, if you don't see a three or a four, you quarter turn either here or here. The only, the only thing that is, I would say it's a bit difficult to guess is if you drift the dice to two, one, three, or five, six in this case. On this set, it's a one, two, three or a 6-5. With same color dies, you cannot tell the difference between the two results. Therefore, what you would do is, a 2-1-3 on this set is a double pitch, a 5-6 is a double pitch. Because they're dangerous results, you stick to the same original set with the hard ways on top. You do not move it. The only adjustment you could do, which would be dangerous, would be either to go to a set that double pitching it does not uh, give you a useless number like a two three six four six five uh, that would be another example whereby drifting the dice is going to give you two four six or five three eight this is just dice strategy but for now this is you know kind of mechanics dice mechanics uh, lesson so that people can understand a little bit more um, Let's assume that your dice are not doing what they're supposed to and uh, even if you change quarter turn, you see that you're going consistently one of axis, either this one or this one. Change set, you have choices, one five, six five, would be a good choice. If you take one die of axis, the other die cannot be a seven. Or it could be a one five five one, exactly the same kind of thing. Kissing fours inside. Only has two sevens at the same time. 
that's the one six and the six one at the bottom you get hard ways here and here or aces and a five two five two five here so this kissing set is for off axis mainly i don't like it when i get a an on axis result on this um, i would rather be on a hardway set of any configuration five three five three that's another uh, consideration the drifts do not give you a seven in fact they give you a, a hardware result on the hardware set the only problem with the hardware set that is that if you double pitch it is instant death on all the faces a very nice set for beginners because they can immediately start understanding the axis one six for example if you see a six you know you're off axis if you see an ace you know you're off axis as well okay when we talk about axis what do we need what do we mean we have three axes the dice move in this direction which we call the x-axis so it's like something inside here it's like an axle makes the dice rotate in this direction forward uh, we may have dice rotating like so on the side basically drifting and that would be the y-axis and then you have dice rotating like so and that would be the z-axis now once the dice hit the back wall you will see them a lot of times changing axis one die may remain on this axis the other one may start going like so or even like so the process of actually saying oh we went from an x to y axis on this axis and then on this die and then a z axis on that die before they ended up is useless to me at least it's very very irrelevant and the reason for that is you want the result what did the dice on top say and that's how we start a dice set and that's how we end with a result two four six axis five four top that was axis four six ten off axis one of the dice was off axis that's all you need to know before you decide your next set a lot of people stay on the same sets um, this is probably because they're not that experienced with uh, different dice families of sets. There are three dice families of sets. Hardware set, that's one of them. It includes 4242, 1, 3, 2, 3, 2, 6, 2, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. Doesn't matter. Don't give them names, they're just hard ways. Even the double pitched or seven set, they behave in the same way. The sevens are located um, 38 millimeters away from each other, unless you double pitch it in this set, which is a hard, uh, the all seven set. That's it. That's the hard way set. Then you get the three Vs, the two Vs, A 3V set has a 3s creating a V and it could be a 3, 2, 3, 6, 3, 6, 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 1, or a 3, 1, 3, 2. They're all valid V sets. And then you have 3, 6, 3, 2, 3, 5, 3, 6. 3135, 3231. These are V sets but in the different direction. It's like throwing the dice in this configuration, throwing them forward, 
and when you change the config configuration like so it's throwing them towards you so you need to choose which family within a family you're going to belong to because a lot of the things are important if you implode most of the time like so then if you change the set and take it to a 3632 imploding is not going to give you a seven here it's going to give you other hard ways like a hard four or box cars here if you go to two two one two three implode one dies a hard six Implode the other one, snake eyes. If I do the two, three, two, one, if I implode the dice, a six, one, seven. If I implode this one, is a three, four, seven. So it's it's really important to understand which what your dice are doing in order to decide which set you're going to use, even within a family of sets. And then you got you have the kissing sets where you take couple of twos I prefer to do them like so with a seven on top so that any result which is on axis apart from the actual one which is primary will give me 38 uh, millimeters distance between my seven so if I want to get a one six seven I have to go sync and out of sync for two rotations to get to it the advantage of this set, in my opinion, very poor opinion here, is the fact that it's a very forgiving set. If you go off axis, you cannot seven out. Either this one or that one. Um, if you drift the dice, which is something which doesn't really happen very often, it's a seven, drift it this way, it's a seven. Um, if you explode the dice, hard four, implode both dice, hard 10. So it has a bit of, uh, you know, opposite characteristics to a set like the hard six set. Explode the dice is a seven, implode the dice is a seven, drift the dice, aces or box cars on the classic one, change it, drift them, hard four, change and drift them, hard ten. So you have to see what what you're really throwing before you decide which set to use. And some time ago, I put up a video whereby it's a decision-making video and you can decide whether to continue using a dice family or set or whether the results actually recommend that you change sets. I hope this makes sense to you. And um, thank you for watching this.